Hey there, I'm so glad you could join me. It is December 8th, so it is time for day 8, otherwise known as the day that the ATAT -AT got wrapped in Christmas stuff. <laughs> I will be opening the adequate J8 for these three calendars, Lego City, Lego Star Wars, and the Play-Doh calendar. I keep wanting to call that one Play-Doh Lego too, but it is not Lego. So I'm gonna just open up and we'll see what is behind door number eight. I really like the decoration on this. And because there is a Lego AT80 -AT showing, I do think we're going to get one little bit and I'm really excited for that. Is he behind this door? I doubt it, but I think he's in there. Any guesses of what it could be? Let me know below. Oh, it's a little Ewok. So cute. Don't tell my husband though. He, he doesn't like Ewoks. <laughs> I don't know why. So this looks incredibly simple to put together as it is a short little Ewok. It has little kid Lego legs to put on it. The outfit is very plain on this. There's really not much detail at all. But the head and the way they built the head is pretty cool. Okay, so that just fits down on there and makes our little Ewok a little more fuzzy. I think he's really cute. Um, I think if he could talk, he'd be saying something like, you be a cat cat, so he's saying, all right. I like the little scar detail. I wish uh, there was a little more detail, but I like the way they fit the fuzzy bits down onto the rest of the Lego piece. It's a cute little mini fig. And also, I think it might be my first uh, Ewok Lego minifigure, unless I had one when I was young, which I might have and I can't remember. So, what do you think of this little guy? Let me know in the comments below. Here we go with our Lego City calendar. As it is December 8th, we are still on day 8. There's a cool shark and some kind of underwater craft. I think I've actually seen that in Smith's. That's pretty cool. There's all these things going on. I guess they made this big thing to advertise all the sets. And something funny, it actually says on the top of the set, other sets required to build the model shown in small letters. Just so they don't get your hopes up that all that stuff could actually be in here, which would be kind of impossible. It'd have to be like the TARDIS of all sets, you know, very much bigger on the inside. Oh, I think it's our street lamp with a Christmas decoration. that lit up. That is so cool looking. So just spin that around. And then I think we put our top on and that may have a little piece on top of it. That was really simple. Oh, that's so cute. We'll just put our street lamp next to our little Lego guy. I'm still not sure if that's a kid because look, he's got his smartphone. That seems like coffee to me. But yet he's got these kid legs, so we'll just put him next to the street lamp. Come on, little guy, stay standing. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the holiday street lamp. I really like it. And now let's go to our Play-Doh calendar. Okay, this is our Play-Doh advent calendar. And if you've been keeping up, now we have opened quite a few of these. We've got quite a few cool tools. I really enjoyed getting them. 
and there's like a green, there's a green Play-Doh guy here over number eight. If you want to guess what's in it, you can tell me in the comments below. Oh, it looks like reindeers, antlers. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's funny too. It kind of reminds me of Moose Toys logo. <laughs> Have you seen their new logo? It looks really nice. So, I'm not really sure. I guess like if you made a Play-Doh reindeer, you could just put this down in it. That's really adorable. And maybe make some funny shapes with it. I don't know. It, it really looks like you're supposed to stick it in your Play-Doh. So what use do you think these antlers have? Or if it's some kind of shaping tool, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to tell me your favorite toy from the video. Like and share and I will see you all next time. I'm so happy you could join me. Bye!